First at five, the expansion and renovation of the Minnesota State Office Building will break ground next month. Good evening. I'm Liam McLean. I'm Paul Folger. All of this is despite last minute alarms that are being sounded about the growing cost of this thing. Chief political reporter Tom Hauser live in St. Paul to explain exactly what's happening, Tom. Yeah, Paul, this building was completed at a cost of $1.5 million, but that was 91 years ago. Just three years ago, renovation and expansion of this building was pegged at an estimated $288 million. But due to inflation and rising interest rates, the estimated cost has risen sharply. The state office building across from the Capitol dates back to 1932. Before it turns 100, it is in line for hundreds of millions of dollars in renovations and expansion. In fact, the estimated cost ballooned from $288 million in 2020 to $454 million now. And it was revealed this week the state will pay another $275 million in interest for a total cost of up to $729 million. Could I give you a dollar amount? right now to tell you what it should be? No, but I can tell you $729 million with both the bonds and the interest over 20 years is too much to be spending on an office building for 134 legislators. When you first walk into the state office building, it actually looks pretty nice. It has nice shiny floors, beautiful light fixtures. In many respects, it's a grand old building, but supporters of the renovation say you don't need to look far behind the walls, behind the facade, and on the roof to see it needs a lot of work. There are cracks in walls and ceilings, pipes and electrical systems are failing, an HVAC system failure in 2016 resulted in flooding and damage on six floors. We have a building that's crumbling. It has had leaks and floods and mold problems. Uh, we had a uh, rating done of the entire building that showed that the roof and the plumbing and the HVAC were all in poor condition. The cost includes a big expansion of the building to the north to add hearing space and other public accommodations. Majority Leader Jamie Long says current hearing rooms are often overcrowded and not easily accessible for the disabled. We don't have ADA accessible hearing rooms and so the entire uh, new section of the building is going to be public space. But Minority Leader Lisa Damoth wonders why it will cost so much more than a $310 million state capital restoration and brand new $90 million Senate building. I think we need to really reimagine what we're doing rather than expand it to this extent. And Damoth says the state should look for empty space in other buildings here on the Capitol complex that could be used for offices or hearing space. But it's a little too late to shift gears. The ground will be broken on the expansion portion of this project next month. Live in St. Paul, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News. Okay, Tom, thank you.